Today we celebrate St. Madeleine Sophie Barra. The legacy of Madeleine Sophie Barra can be found in the more than 100 schools operated by her Society of the Sacred Heart, institutions known for the quality of the education made available to the young. Sophie herself received an extensive education thanks to her brother Louis, 11 years older, and her godfather at baptism. Himself a seminarian, Louis decided that his younger sister would likewise learn Latin, Greek, history, physics, and mathematics, always without interruption and with a minimum of companionship. By age 15, she had received a thorough exposure to the Bible, the teachings of the fathers of the church, and theology. Despite the oppressive regime Louis imposed, Young Sophie thrived and developed a genuine love of learning. Meanwhile, this was the time of the French Revolution and of the suppression of Christian schools. The education of the young, particularly young girls, was in a troubled state. Sophie, who had discerned a call to the religious life, was persuaded to become a teacher. She founded the Society of the Sacred Heart, which focused on schools for the poor, as well as boarding schools for young women of means. Today, co-ed Sacred Heart schools also can be found, along with schools exclusively for boys. In 1826, our Society of the Sacred Heart received formal papal approval. By then, she had served as superior at a number of convents. In 1865, she was stricken with paralysis. She died that year on the Feast of the Ascension. Madeleine Sophie Bacha was canonized in 1925. A saint, and because she died on the Solemnity of the Ascension, we can say with all conviction and authority that she definitely, when it came to the spiritual life, rose to the occasion. God bless you.